Hey guys, this is one up Indie coming up with some free video game assets in 2021. And of course you need to understand, hey, are you going in the 2D realm or the 3D and therefore the assets, so for example sprites, animations, models and so on, are kind of a, a different beast depending what you are looking for. So let's say you want to go the good old nostalgia 2D route, then I guess you are not in need of textures and models as much, for example, as you would be needing some tile sets, some pixel animations, and for example, like some sprites of, uh, let's say, I don't know, your favorite uh, side scroller or whatever. And of course, if you go the 3D road, then you, I guess, uh, are more in need of some models and textures and all that stuff, which is the fundamental basics of 3D games. So here you see a nice little illustration, which is not up to date. I would say that, I guess that was made in, what was it, 2017. And because this thing is uh, showing, for example, stencil. Stencil is for flash, making flash games. Flash games, not a thing anymore. I guess not now. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I would say no, no, no. So basically here are a few uh, great programs, how to make your video games. And of course, the biggest hitters are for 2D, Game Maker, Game Boy Studios or GB Studio or Construct or RPG Maker. And of course, if you want to go the mixed way, for example, then Unity and Godot are the way to go. So it's a 3D engine, but of course you can still make 2D games, but it's artificially put in a 3D environment. And of course, if you want to go the complete professional route, which is then the Unreal Engine, which is, I guess, for beginners, the most difficult nut to crack. So here, just a little caveat, if you want to start easy, I would re recommend go the 2D realm. And of course, if then this is way too easy for you, then you can jump into 3D environments and become ultra professional if you like. So to answer the question, where can you get your free game assets in 2021? Well, the first thing would be the Unity Asset Store where you can just uh, well, browse your stuff and then you can just go top free and boom, you can get some add-ons, some tools, some, I don't know, 2D or 3D art. I guess this is more focused on 3D as, as you can see. And therefore, well, you can just grab that stuff and use it in Unity. Of course, if it's a tool for Unity, for example, let's say Unity Particle Pack, you can expect it just to be used in Unity and then this is basically it because these things are of course are locked to the engine which you're using, which is now Unity. Of course, if you want to go a little bit more professional, then you go into the Unreal Engine where you have free assets. So for example, here you can just browse the free ones. I guess they are constantly free. And this is a great thing. So um, the Unreal Engine, so Epic, is giving away every month. So here, free for the month even more stuff and for example you can just collect that stuff every month so if you are patient you can um, get some really uh, big 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 collection of things which are then just made free for you so they're just not throwing uh, every week a free game on you basically it is giving you free stuff for a 3d engine so this is pretty cool stuff so if you want to collect stuff this is the platform to go alrighty and now we come to my my thing which is the 2D realm. Of course, here a little uh, interesting thing which I didn't expect. I will do this at last. So the first thing, one of the first great sites and uh, resources to grab is opengameart.org. And here you can get 3D, 2D art. Mostly it's 2D art and it is um, quite strict concerning what the copyrights are. So basically most of the stuff which is in here is labeled correctly and therefore you can use it of course not an issue so this is the great part about this site and most of the stuff is free so this is not just uh, 2d or 3d art but of course music and so on well and then of course we have itch.io we can just go under go back and then you go under game assets boom because here um, i don't know you can get most of the stuff and for example if there's no price here i guess most of the time then you can just download that stuff for free little thing to remind you this is very important because most people just dump their stuff in here there's like tons of assets 
they don't check if you can use it if you can't so if somebody's um, giving you the option to download please ask if you can use that their stuff commercially of course if you use, use it private nobody will see i guess this is then let's call it the gray area but if you use that stuff commercially please ask beforehand and most of the people just respond and they are pretty happy to tell you yeah hey no problem this is not an issue and now we come to <laughs> the thing which i never expected the smithsonians if you're thinking what the hell is this yes that was my first gut reaction also but they made a pretty 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 cool so the smithsonian institute is giving away millions of dig digital records so for example if you just go in here boom we can actually grab their stuff and most of the stuff is a public domain so basically the rights were giving away and therefore you can use it to whatever you like or for example cc0 which just means use it anyway so pretty cool stuff and for example i was looking for posters so let's go and uh, check this one out <laughs> so if you played for example fallout then you have sometimes a poster like this and then boom you can actually use it so public domain just means hey they forfeit forfeit their right and they are pretty detailed so this is i don't know 150 megabytes or something so they are huge and yeah, they're pretty huge of course very very detailed and of course you can use this art for your video game which is amazing so i'm going to be scouring this site for today and for the next few days because this is amazing pretty cool stuff and of course you can use it as background decoration or whatever and this is amazing so really 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 thank you for the smithsonians because <laughs> why not that was it from from my side have a good one wanna be neat.